y'all ready to get started okay what this is is um, this is a challenging procedure um, that Mickey's ballot to vote in the Republican primary has been challenged on the basis of her being not being a bona fide member of the party in which she requested a ballot now um, we want to make perfectly clear that her ch her right to vote was not questioned in the county general. It was only in the primary in which she had chose to vote. Um, being said, done, that said, uh, I need to give you an oath um, to where we can continue the process. We have to take that oath. I swear or affirm. I swear or affirm that I will give true answers. That I will give true answers to question to questions asked questions asked about my right to vote about my right to vote in the election in the election I have applied to vote in I have applied to vote in okay before we go further can you identify the judges please absolutely um, state your name please. my name is Rebecca Abner are you affiliated with any party Ms. Abner yes which one the Republican thank you James Snodderly with the Republican Party I'm Gail Hubbard, and I'm a member of the There are no Democrat Party members present as judges, is that correct? Th that is correct. And, and the reason for that, sir, is we understand that um, the process is decided by members of the party that the challenge came from. So that, that is why that you have three Republican uh, officials in, in here. Now, these are actually the judges that are provided for and TCA 24102. The, yes, these are the judges that are holding the election at this time. Yes, Thank sir. You. Um, the guidelines for a challenged vote is, as I stated earlier, uh, you are challenged as not being a bona fide member of the political party in which you seek to vote. Um, and upon that, these three judges um, is who will determine whether or not you have um, the right to vote in that, uh, in the primary which you requested. Um, do you have questions? I need to, to let you ask her any questions in order for you to make the decision. You. Whoever's first. Are uh, you on the, any committee boards with the Democratic? No, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. Not at all? Not at all. Okay. Sounds good. Can we please see her voting record? Is this correct? And is this your voting record for me? Yes, I'd say that's correct. Um, I would like to know at this time why you would like 
to vote in the Republican primary? I, Mickey Eldridge, in order to exercise my constitutional right to vote in the current primary election, hereby declare my allegiance to the Republican Party within the meaning of TCA Code 2-7-115-B2, this the 20th day of July, 2010. Does that mean that you're changing party? And you're going to be a Republican from now on? It means that today, in order for me to vote for the candidates that have asked me to vote for them and that I've pledged to vote for, I would have to be able to vote in the Republican Party to support them. And I do support them, and I support the Republican Party in order to be able to support them and vote for them. So if your candidate loses by whatever reason, would you support the opponents just as much as you're supporting your, your candidate now? Well, I, I'm advising not to answer that. Nobody has a right to know your mind in terms of your vote, and it's really none of your business. We're talking about the primary election today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, her motives have been questioned. That's why we are in this office. You have been advised of her sworn statement and if that's all she's going to say, you need to make your decision as judge is on the block. Can I have a copy of her? her sure. She signed it. You may have it. We, we will make that a copy of, of the... Of the uh, and, and we will ask also for a copy of the, the tape in which you are And uh, I, I apologize for not introducing myself. I'm Jimmy Smith, and I'm here as Ms. Elvis' attorney. Any other questions? Mm. So if you vote Republican today, would you vote Democratic tomorrow? I don't think she'd be able to vote today and tomorrow. Okay. And and let me tell you what, again That would definitely be illegal. We're we're talking well, we're talking about um, she has been challenged on voting in a primary. Now, this does not affect her uh, her being able to vote in that general back there. If y'all come to the conclusion that she may not vote in the primary, she will be given, given a paper ballot for that primary. She will be able to cast her vote in the Republican primary on a paper ballot which will be put into an envelope, rejected uh, with your three signatures on it, and the reasons that you rejected letting her vote in that primary. Now, if one of you state that you feel like she should be able to vote today, then she will walk right back out there, she will get her ballot, um, she will walk back to the, to the voting machine, and she will cast her uh, primary ballot and her general ballot. If you uh, decline her that, then she will cast a paper ballot for the, pro for the uh, uh, primary, and then she will get a general ballot out there and cast it on the machine. So that is the process. Um, she will do that while she's here today, correct? Either way. We intend to vote today. Okay. Ms. Elvis yes. intends okay. to exercise her right to vote today, okay. as she tried to do yesterday. I do have some questions in terms of where the judges were yesterday, why she was turned away and told she could not vote, period, yesterday. If any y'all want to answer those well, questions. Um, may I ask, answer the question? Um, she was asked to step into the office so we could do this part of the procedure. I mean, I haven't talked with Ms. Short, but she refused. She turned around and walked out the door. Did, did any of the judges ever speak with her yesterday? No. She no. didn't give us opportunity. She was highly upset, which I don't uh, blame her. I'm sure there might have been some confusion. But from what I witnessed, she turned around and walked out the door and said, no, I don't want to go to your office, and walked out the door. Did you wish, witness her being told she could not vote, period, three different times? She was told, um, I cannot allow you to vote at this time. Very and, well. Let's and, go on with the process. And, uh, Mr. Smith, I, I do want to clarify something to you, that the first part of this procedure is an oath. And if the oath is not taken, then the procedure cannot be pr proceeded beyond that. That, that is, okay, that is the first. The law, okay, yes, sir. Um, 